Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft To Do. What I want to have a look at in this session is the To Do feature, which is part of Outlook. Now on the screen, I have it activated, but if I just go back to Outlook, click into Outlook, and then you can see it is a feature down the left-hand side there, To Do. You can also get this direct by going to microsofttodo.com and it will bring this up. So here we go. At the top there, you've got my day, which I've got selected. You've got important tasks. You've got planned tasks assigned to me, flagged emails and just general tasks. And then at the bottom there, I've got some groups and lists, a group and then a list, which I'll show you how to do. So basically to create a task, I click on task. It's as simple as Click on the plus to add a task and give it a name. So access course is what I want to do. And then I can just add that task. Now, if I click into it, you get all these extra features down the right hand side. And the first one at the top says add a step. So that is a generic task, but it might be a title. So under that, I may have different things that I need to do. Like you can see on this Excel training there, I've got two subtasks so i want to quickly do that i'm going to add a step so it's um access course um, training material first off i'll add that one and then i'll do another one um video content let's say those are the things that i need to do under that task so you can see now it's got two now coming down there my day which was the top option, you can add this task to my day, which basically um, will clear at the end of every day. So it gives you an option. I'll, I will click it, click it to my day. And then I don't want a reminder. Now I've not got a due date on this, so I'll add a due date. Let's say it's due tomorrow. And if you had to do this every week or every day, you could do a repeat on it, which I will do. I'll say it's got to be done weekly until it's complete, say. And then you've got this category option, pick a category. And these are just colored categories, but I've created my own category called training. And I did that in Outlook, which I'll show you in a second. Now, there's no way it tells you there that you can do that. But basically, if you just type a bit of rubbish where it says pick a cat category, it tells you there that you can create a new category in Outlook. So if I quickly go to Outlook and show you where you can create or edit the categories. So it's in Outlook settings, so over here. And what you need to do is go down to all Outlook settings. And then you've got a list of options that you can select here. What you need to click on is general at the top and then you've got categories and then you can see the categories there so training is in that list and you just create a category so let's type admin and pick a color for admin save that so now you've got um training the admins disappeared i don't know why let's do that again so let's call it something else Administration, pick a color, save. It's disappeared. It'll probably appear later on, but that's how you create a category in there. So you can see training there. That's the one I created earlier on. Just click on create category and then select training or type training. So once you've done that, it then becomes available to you in the to do list. So if I go to to do again and click on my task, that's why that became there. Now it doesn't appear in this drop down list. It does now because I've just clicked on it, but it didn't appear initially. Uh, you have to just type it just so you have to remember what you've called it. But that's how I've done that. Now, if I come down there, you can also attach a file to this task. I'm not going to do that. Now I clicked on add to my day. So if I go to my day, that's now got up to three tasks and this task is on there. 
so that will drop off tomorrow it won't appear there you'll have to reassess it so if you think of the old days when you used to use a pen and maybe a, a piece of paper and write down tasks and then cross them out when they were done that's exactly what this is and then usually when you got to the end of the day you still had a shed load of tasks to do so you copied them out for the next day giving some sort of priority to them like um, ABC or whatever type of priority you want to give now down there underneath my day you've got important I didn't select important on that one but I will do I'll go back to it go back to it and click on it and set it as um, important so at the top there you've got a little star and then you can take that on or off so now it's, it's got a star next to it so if I go back to important that's now appearing in there there's a category look so planned so now you've got um, planned tasks so if I if I click on this it gives you all the details of when it's planned if I click on some of these other ones you can see that some of these are being done in Microsoft Teams. So this is linked to Microsoft Teams. So if I click on open in Teams, it should open Microsoft Teams and go to that particular task. What you have here is tasks by planner and to do when it loads up. So and there's the actual task loading up, the one that I clicked on. So if I just close that, in fact, I'll complete that actually and close that. So if I click off this and go to Teams, for example, you sort of lose that. It's not sitting there anymore. But if I click back on these little ellipses, you've got it in there recent. And you can also type at the top there to bring it back into view. And then you've got the same list before so these are all channels that have got tasks in uh, they've got planner in that that, that that you've created in teams and they, they you can access them through the to do app so i'll just close that one off now next one down has got assigned to you now all these have been assigned to me um quite a lot of them flagged emails so this is an email coming into your inbox in outlook that you click on and flag for action so in your inbox which i haven't got any emails you can click on um, my day link that will put it into my day but also on the email you've got a flag so if i just send an email to myself there we go call it test then send obviously that's not myself that's my wife there it comes in and then you've got the flag there so I'll tick that flag and I can also add it to my my day like so and now you're getting a little preview of what you can do you can assign a task and you can join a team meetings for that one there now if I go into my calendar What you can also do in calendar is so that's a teams meeting if i go onto my day i could drag that onto the calendar so you can just drag these tasks onto a calendar date so you can schedule something in there like a normal calendar that's what this is telling you to do how to do that so that's all in addition to using to do in isolation so you've got it integrated with outlook itself through that and also that flagged email, I'll go back to to do, should pop up there, which it does. So there's a flagged email. So it's now in my to do list. And then you can do all the other things um, that you want to do. Like we've already been through that. Pick a category, I'll just give it a blue category, and so on. So next one down is tasks. We've already been in tasks. Um, nothing else to say there you've got completed but in settings what we haven't got here is um, all tasks so if I go into settings there are some things you can turn on and off so to do settings most of these are already on but for example if I scroll down all is not on and completed is not on let's put them on 
and everything else looks okay close that so now you've got all it shows you all the tasks and then you've got just completed which just shows the one that's been completed you don't have to have those on now below tasks you've got groups and lists you need to create a list first so if I click on that let's call this word and then you can create a group so I'll call this second chance that's the group so I just need to press enter on the word that that will create the list and it says drag here to add list so I can drag that there to add list and then I can do another one Excel enter and then drag that one up to second chance and so on so you just create the lists enter and then drag it to the group whichever group you want it in now you can see on this top one we have got um, a people symbol which is a shared list once you've done a list you can share a list and assign people to it so let's do a task under word so add a task um, material uh, video press and enter each time and marketing marketing and let's say I want to share marketing so what you've got on the right there is share I don't want to add any of these so I'm just going to click on the share option and then you've got create an invitation link so it tells me that I'm the owner and I can invite via email or copy the link I'll just copy the link in this example just close that and then I'll go back to Outlook and send an email normally it would set this email off but my email is set to go to another program so I'll just set this to send to myself work for you and then paste that link in and then send it so now if I go into um, a different window so this is me work for you has already appeared and there's the link so this has come from Alana to me I'm now logged on as myself open the link and sign in to join yep join the list so I've joined it now I want to open it open the list and I can see the three things there once you've shared a list you can allocate or assign a particular task within that list to a person so if I click on video or marketing is what I wanted to assign I now get this option down there so the two people I can assign that to Steve Saxton and I can assign this to myself if I want like so now if I go back into the the other account so I'm now logged on as Steve Saxton you can see that I've got these two assignments there so assigned to me marketing word and Excel training video so that's how you assign tasks so I'll just quickly recap that so what you do let's say I want to share this list so I'll add some tasks video marketing material so I want to share this list I'll click into that notice I haven't got the option to share or assign from there if I share the if I share the list share the PowerPoint list do the same thing copy the link close this go back to Outlook email that to Steve new message PP 
GPT, paste the link, send. Go back into Steve's account, go to Outlook. There's PPT, click on the link, sign in to join the list. Normally you stay signed in, it's because I've got several accounts. Join the list, open it. So now should it be on PPT should appear. PowerPoint, there you go. And then if I go back to Alana's account, back to to do, I can then go into PowerPoint and assign marketing, for example, to Steve. And if I go back into Steve's account, you can see marketing has been assigned to me, which I'll now do, complete. And then that's how it works. Back in Alana's account, it's marketing, marketing is complete. So that's just a very quick overview of how Microsoft To Do works. So I hope that's been of use to you. And thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.